Hey guys, Girl Named Bob here with part 2 of Let's Draw My Resident Evil 4 title card. And I know I said uh, in the last video that I probably will leave these, you know, either quiet. There will definitely never be any music to these um, videos, but I guess I can, you know, voice over them. <laughs> it's, it's not going to be too much of a hassle, me talking, you know. Who would have thought that would, would never have been an option? So yes, for my future Let's Draws, no matter what, my voice will be a part of it. So you can either... Watch it with me, mute it, and listen to music, or, you know, whatever else. So, as you can see right now, it was so cold. It's been ungodly cold in Philly for, for this entire winter, and, um, I draw, I've said this before, I draw in a basement in a cafe, and I was in my full, like, I, I couldn't even take off my coat while I was down there to draw, because it was just so cold, and it just made drawing Bob's face just so challenging for some reason. I just, I couldn't feel my hands, and my lines were just all over the fucking place, and it just took, like, at least a half hour alone just to get the eyes right. It was, it was god-awful, but, you know, you gotta, you gotta play through the pain sometimes as an artist, and just go on through. So while the face gave me some problems, it, it was basically the, the only part of this, um, of the final <laughs> lines, uh, that actually, you know, were any of a hassle. Because, oddly enough, you would think that someone who draws their own characters would, you know, that would be the fastest thing compared to drawing, like, someone else's characters. No, complete opposite, because I'm such a, I'm still, I've gotten out of it you know, these past few years, it's it's a state of mind of, you know, let something go, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, just go, just go, and then over time it will automatically get um, more developed and professional through practice, but I'm still that kind of person that's just really tight, you know, just won't loosen up when it comes to my characters, so that, that Bob face really was driving me nuts for like a solid half hour to like 45 minutes, but when I get to uh, drawing the Las Plagas, or even, you know, the wall, that that doesn't take nearly as much time. So, with here, when I'm drawing the gun, uh, I am technically right-handed, like, the, the right hand should be where the trigger is, but I'm also ambidextrous in a lot of areas, and I can, I can shoot a gun left-handed as well, so this one was just, you know, uh, just out of preference for, um, the, the pose over, you know, anything else. Like, I liked seeing the glove, overlooking the hand so you can still see the trigger, so that's why I just, you know, made her, you know, left-handed, even though technically it would be more accurate right-handed. But, you know, it's things. Who cares? You probably didn't even notice that she was holding the gun <laughs> left-handed like, like I did when I first started. I'm like, hey, this is gonna look cool, and they totally did. So, as you can see, <laughs> the arm is basically already done in the amount of time it took to draw, like, one of her eyes. <laughs> and, um... Bodies, detailing, you know, bodies or anything like that doesn't give you too much of a hassle. That that stuff goes by real fast. It's just getting the expressions down how you want them to be can sometimes be, you know, the surprising factor. I mean, technically, whenever you draw, a surprising factor can pop up. Like, you think, oh, this pose looks really, you know, easy, and then it turns out to be the hardest thing ever. And then you, like, try to draw someone handstanding, and it turns out to be, like, the easiest thing ever to draw. So, it's all according to... To, uh, circumstances, it just depends. But, yeah, we had a lot of fun, uh, drawing Leon's costume. And, of course, drawing his little... I don't understand why his pants have fucking, like, patches on the knees, like... Because it's not like he wore out his knees. They're there. And I know he wears the, the, the elbow pads and the knee pads underneath because, uh, later on in the game, he gets less and less clothed. I got no problem with that. You know, it's kind of like the Prince of Persia aspect. Got no problems with that, but, like, of all the places to have patches, just right there on the knees, but, yeah, so this episode is, it's not gonna have any of the coloring done. I don't even know if I'm gonna film myself, uh, coloring. I feel like I would rather, uh, just make a tutorial on how to color and never record myself actually coloring a piece, unless it's, like, um, one of my illustrations where it is, you know, uh, a color study or something like that, but with uh, a title card like this, um... I don't know, I just, I just feel like, it's not that, it's not that interesting to show, you know, it's just, it's just there, you color, you do it, you, I get like two layers, later on in the video I'll show how I uh, do the color blocking, and then all you have to do with those layers is then activate the opacity, opacity, whatever the hell, however we want to say, if there's a C in there, just jam it in there, but, um, <laughs> um, not that, but the, 
uh, the matting option, and then you just, you know, use your highlights and uh, shading, but I will do a color tutorial video in the near future, the the very last person to ever tell you how to how to color in their life. Oh god, I still, like, I can see colors extremely well. Like, I can see color and motion really well. I just can't translate that while trying to draw. It's just like, you know, you see something in your head and it never comes out how you want it, and it's like, fuck. <laughs> but, um, at least I got some, uh, fantastic lines to my name. And right here, I'm doing the perspective for the boards, which is quite easy. All you do is just draw the line really fast towards the horizon line of its, of its, uh, preference, and, uh, some of the lines I just use the skew tool, or the skew tool, not tool, to, uh, help, you know, to just adjust them a bit, not not too hard, but once you get the lines in place, it's it's pretty easy, and uh, I actually really love detailing boards like this. I've done this on a couple of my other illustrations, um, especially with, like, uh, the, the Amsterdam one, if you uh, go to my DA and you look at the, the, the picture where she's, you know, on a, on a board, not on a board, I was looking at a board, so I instantly said board, but on a porch, and, like, a rickety old wood porch. Like, I had a lot of fun with that. And these... I plan on making the the wooden wall where the lines are going to be colored so that Bob's lines can pop out and the, the Lost Plagueis lines can pop out. Because one of the main rules when animating or even just illustrating composition in general is you want... You don't want your main focus to be obscured and get lost in the background. And one of the, the easiest way to do that is have either no outlines for objects for inanimate objects that don't rely or aren't the, the main characters, or have the lines where, you know, they're they're slightly different from the the characters' lines. So by just changing the color, it'll it'll make the, the characters pop. Now a lot of uh you know uh, properties don't do that, like Adventure Time, everything's the same line quality, but you can see it, you know, the the colors are so bright and there's no real, like, shading or in-depth detail that's easy to tell the, the characters apart from their environment, so you just, you gotta play around until it fits your style. So for me, I like having thick lines on everything, but just, you know, make the, the, the background or the secondary uh, objects, uh, uh, to have their lines a different color than black, so that way, you know, everything pops out against it. Black will always stick out whenever it's against something that is not black, so that's that's how I do it. And right now, I am uh, doing the, the Lost Plagueis suit, and I'm having a lot of fun with that. Look at me zoom. But yeah, I can get through, like, uh, drawing other people's characters, like, super fast, because I don't have to worry about, man, does this, is this, is this how I want it to be envisioned? It's like, no, this is, this is what the character's design already looks like, just go with it, so, it's, it's, for me, it, it's a lot faster to do, um, uh, an established character already than to try to be like, hey, this is what my character looks like, it's completely accurate to how I see it, it's like, no, no, it's not. And, um, yeah, so, right now, just doing the detail, oh, I was in a, uh, a pendulum mood, nothing but pendulum for like three days straight as I drew this big old monster sausage fingers there. Absolutely, <laughs> was, I was. I, I think the only problem I was having with um, drawing this guy was the perspective with the hand while he's, because the way the the picture set up is that he's about to turn the corner, so he's behind where Bob is, but the hand is reaching out, so it's in the, the foreground, and not in the distance. Fuck you, monster hands. Oh yeah, I agree. But, yeah, so just, sometimes little perspectives like that will, you know, cause you some difficulty, but once again, just work it out, just draw. Even if uh, it doesn't seem like the right solution, or the most obvious solution, just draw whatever it feels like, and see how it works, because if something feels right, it doesn't necessarily have to quote-unquote look right. Like, for animation, when you're uh, moving things around, especially jointed characters, one of the main things you have to do is, once again, quote-unquote, break the limbs, which is inverting elbows, knees, and all that, and that's just to get the, the motion fluid, because when objects, uh, <laughs> you know, when objects pass through a three-dimensional space, they, the elbow will always be at a right angle, but because it's in a different position and a different perspective, it may look like it's being bent like 120 degrees or some shit like that. Which doesn't mean it's wrong, it's just a trick of the eye. That's all movement is, it's just a, a trick of the eye. So, technically I'm a wizard. I am a big old fancy wizard, and you better respect me. <laughs> but, um, I had a lot of fun. I, I love drawing fire, 
and um, a lot of organic, you know, shape strong designs like with the fire, because um, it really it it lets the you know the line just speak for itself. So it's very graphic, it's very you know bold, and I like that. I like I like making things like that. And uh, once again, the fire lines will probably be uh, uh, painted so that they're you know either yellow, red, or orange to make it just you know pop as I'd like to say. So the only characters or the only objects in this that will have black outlines will be uh, Bob and the monster. So, yeah. That's my only advice. Just just make things pop whenever you need it to. I'm sure after uh, you get used to it, you will finally decide uh, or um, know where and when you want everything to to be placed and to be compositioned in the photo or the, the illustration. Whatever. You know, I... I believe in you. So, um, now I'm on to, uh, actually drawing the monster head, which was, um, a lot of fun. Except in some of the things, like, later on, the, the first layer of tentacles I started drawing in my apartment because I just, I refused to go. It was, like, three degrees outside and I just refused to leave, but, um, I, I have a deadline. Resident Evil actually just came out yesterday and I'm still rendering out videos for that. And by the time this gets uploaded, uh, the first Resident Evil should be uploaded within the same day, or, you know, the, the upcoming days at least, I hope. Um, been practicing with Camtasia on the Windows. That thing takes up a lot of time to render. I was very surprised. It took a, a lot longer than uh, Fraps or uh, um, Microsoft Movies did. Uh, about, you know, maybe... 25% longer, which is, uh, precious time, precious valuable time, but, uh, enough about that, this, this, this video is not about Camtasia, it's about tentacles all over the place, but yeah, had a lot of fun doing this, um, <laughs> just going, just, all you have to do is just get the basic shape down, you know, uh, if you need to distort it, just distort it until it gets to how, uh, you want it to feel right, just do the basic shapes, and then add the details in, which is what the, the spikes are afterwards, so, I got the main tentacles down how I want them. They are within the borders of how I want the Resident Evil logo to interact with with everything else on the picture or on the, the frame. And yeah, just once you get the main thing done, as you can see, I have not zoomed in once while drawing this. Not fucking once. It's all at the still 50% of uh, the full view. And then just, 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 if you... If it doesn't look good while zoomed out, it's not going to look good zoomed in. That's, you know, <laughs> that's just how it works. I, uh, there's nothing else I can say about that. So, as you can see, the monster took, like, a fifth of how long it took to just draw Bob's face, and I, I just found that really funny. I just, I could not get my hand to an angle where where drawing her face was easy, and I'm still, the rest of this video is just me, t you know, working that out to see how to get it. I just, I, I could get her hair done right. It gets done pretty fast, boom, done. It's just her her ears and her face and the fucking two little tippy points on top of her head just give me the biggest problems in the world and it's just it's frustrating when that happens, like Ugh. and but the rest of it looks fine, that's all that matters. But I do get it down to a point where I'm content. Not overtly pleased, but content and sometimes you just have to move on and, you know, it probably does look better than how I think it does, but you know. Such is the way of life. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so this video, just, you know, uh, this is the, the average length of a uh, video that I want these Let's Draws to be when it's, you know, at least just basic showing of how I draw. Uh, about, you know, 15 minutes, at least under 20 minutes. I don't really want to get up to the, the 30 minute point, but, uh, as we come to a close of this video, I finish up the details on the wall put in little rivets, nails, because it probably would need nails to stand up, and then I just fill in the, each one, the wall, Bob, and the monster gets their own, uh, color palette as I, um, start, you know, merging the layers together so that they don't have their own lines, so there's a Bob line, a monster line, a wall line, and then they have their own colors, so Bob has a color, the wall has a color, and the monster has a color, and I will definitely be doing color tutorials in the future on at least how to, you know, get it matted so that you can <laughs> color however you want. So, yeah, I, I hope you enjoy these videos and you stick around because there's definitely going to be more because I'm going to keep drawing, hopefully. I don't see why I wouldn't after all these years, after 24 years of doing this. So, this has been part two of Let's uh, Draw with a Girl Named Bob.
Peace out.